Hello, today I'm going to teach my roommate Alex how to make a beaded bracelet. So first we'll need to gather all of the supplies needed. What we need is a ruler, stringing wire, wire cutters, a hand towel, and we'll be using three different types of beads for this activity. We'll be using a clasp bead, a crimp bead, and pattern beads. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So first, you will measure 12 inches of wire. And then you will use the wire cutters to trim that. Good job. Now you will choose which pattern beads you want for your bracelet and you will align about 8 inches of beads. Good job. Cool. Okay. Nicely done. Now we are going to secure the end of the bracelet and we will hold, first I'll get you a clasp bead. So we are going to hold the wire in between your thumb and your index finger and then with your free hand hold the clasp bead in between your thumb and index finger and you will string the wire through the eye of the bead creating about a half inch of excess wire in a loop. Good job. Now we will use the crimp bead and while holding the wire with the clasp bead in between your thumb and index finger, you will carefully hold the crimp bead in your free hand in between your thumb and index finger and string it along the wire through the eye of the bead and string it along the entire wire until you reach the clasp bead and you want to also string the excess wire through the crimp bead. And then you can pull it tight to secure the end of the bracelet. Good job. So now holding the wire with the clasp and crimp bead in between your thumb and index finger, you can begin stringing the pattern beads along the wire and make sure to include the excess wire. And you will continue this process until all of the pattern beads are strung onto the wire.
joke. So now we are going to string another crimp bead onto the wire. And you'll want to make sure there's a little bit of slack in the wire so it's not so tight so the bracelet doesn't break. Good. Now use the other end of the clasp bead and string it onto the wire. And with the excess wire, you're going to um, loop it back through the crimp bead and then you'll go back about five pattern beads. And now you can use the wire cutters to trim any excess wire you might have. Oh, you didn't have any. That's okay. It means you have the perfect amount of wire. And you just successfully made a beaded bracelet. <laughs>